Okay, there we go. All right, Jerry, I figured I'd give you another uh, little better, clearer video and with the updates and stuff and so that I got a little video for my records and whatnot. But I've uh, got the adjustment knob put on and then you have the adjustable stop collar so you can set your, your depth real easily. Um, it works pretty slick. And then uh, we got the uh, adjustable fence here too. Um, it's got uh, the shim washers here that are about 50 thousandths thick so you can adjust it out in 50 thousandths uh, increments up to uh, a quarter of an inch out. And um, right now the shaft that's in it is the the half inch depth shaft so you're just slightly uh, um, less than a half an inch for depth with the fence on there it's about 50 or 60 thousandths uh, thick the fence itself um, so uh, if you need to you could take the one of the bolts loose swing the fence out of the way and just tighten them up and leave them out of the way if you're not using it um, or you can set it as you as you need to uh, but uh, for oiling, you know, keep these well oiled, uh, the dies, and then here's the uh, little uh, ball, spring loaded ball. You can stick an oiler can on there to screw, to squirt some oil in on the gears inside, and then also take out the adjuster uh, and squirt some in there for the threads of the pressure adjuster, and then for the top bearing block for the top shaft. Um, if it overruns in that hole in there, it'll go down the sides of that block and lubricate that um, and then uh, if you need to uh, take it apart chain shafts or for cleaning maintenance whatever uh, best way is take it off the base with the two bolts on this side and then the, the two on the other side and then remove the two bolts in the rear on both sides and then uh, you don't have to disconnect uh, the Lovejoy coupler or anything else. Uh, and if you just tap on the shaft up here, you know, just slightly to get that uh, broken loose, then you can pull the rear plate off and the lower shaft will come with it. You will have to make sure the fence is out of the way or else it'll hit on the uh, die portion of the shaft. Um, but uh, then that'll pull out. The top shaft will stay in there. It is a good idea before you do that, put the tension knob down all the way because there's springs underneath that front uh, bearing block and by doing that you keep that uh, tight and to make sure that the springs it won't pull that block and pull the springs out and whatnot. Um, not a big deal. Uh, but uh, And uh, I think that's about it for that. Um, this is a uh, the box that has the electrical connections in it and then the capacitor for the motor. Um, the motor's got its own cooling fan on it and it's got adjustment slots up or down but we're set where we need to be with the Lovejoy coupler on here. Um, then for the foot pedal, you can see the foot pedal on the floor. It's just uh, your motor's plugged in through it and then you plug it into your uh, outlet or power cord and it's just basically off on. Step on, turn on let off but uh, kind of show you how it works here I'll lubricate the rollers real good here first but basically stick your uh, tube on there tighten up the tension all the way and then put slight pressure on it towards you to keep the the tube from walking off the shaft and if you don't you'll see what I'm talking about sometime um, but uh, um, then you just push the pedal and she'll start forming the bead. I usually let her put a little pressure on the tension knob to make sure she's going all the way and then uh, run it just a little bit to make sure it makes the bead nice and smooth You don't have to oil every shaft, you know, just you can kind of see when the oil disappears from the shaft.
that kind of gives you an idea on the speed too. Um, I'll show you once. If you don't, uh, if you don't put any pressure towards you, you can see the tube kind of walks off of the shaft because of uh, the way the rollers are spinning. So you want to uh, you want to make sure you stick it on there. Tighten her down and just put, it doesn't take much, you know, just a little bit of pressure towards you. And she works great. So, anyways, hopefully it works well for you. I think you'll be really pleased with it. Uh, if you got any other questions, just uh, feel free to email me or uh, call me or whatnot. But, uh, thanks Jerry. Well, I think I'll get her sent off to you today and then I'll get the shafts made and send them, uh, send them to you next week. Uh, but anyways, thanks Jerry.